We present MOPAC, a model predictive actor critic reinforcement learning method by Andrew Morgan and colleagues. MOPAC requires an actor critic model free algorithm like SAC to collect transitions and use them to learn the model. We then use the model to execute our model predictive rollouts, starting from a random initial true state. We simulate rollouts while also using a target value function to look ahead on future states. Our method is inspired by the optimization process of model predictive path integrals, as to collect optimal trajectories to fill the model replay memory. We sample transitions from the augmented buffer to optimize both the actor and the critic. This combination guarantees optimal skill learning and reduces necessary physical interaction with the environment. We compare our algorithm with two different state-of-the-art RL baselines, soft actor critic and model-based policy optimization. First, we demonstrate the increased learning speed in the half-cheetah Majoko environment. We present episode evaluations for 15, 30, and 40 epochs, noting the increased performance of MOPAC. The best policies of MOPAC for all four Majoko environments tested in this work are now presented, the half cheetah, the hopper, the walker, and the ant. MOPAC is tested physically on an underactuated Yale open hand model queue with four fingers and a rotary palm. The underactuated nature of this hand serves as a challenge to our approach, since the joint configuration and thus the system state cannot be directly determined. All three robot tasks focus on in-hand manipulation, the first being the pentavalve. Here, we attempt to rotate the valve as much as possible in the counterclockwise direction until the end of the episode. The valve is connected to a current disabled actuator to measure its rotation, though, due to the large gear ratio of the actuator, the rotation action receives resistance from the gearbox. Note the reconfiguration of the flexor joints during actuation. We design an additional valve for evaluation, the round valve, that resembles the geometry of a doorknob. This task is inherently harder than the previously presented pentavalve, as the fingers must also grasp the valve in order to rotate. This constraint limits the types of hands that are able to learn this task efficiently, underscoring the utility of underactuated hands. Similarly, we see faster convergence of MOPAC than the other two baselines. We present one final robotic task, finger gating. While tracking the object with an April tag and an external camera, we develop an automated object reset system to replace the object after each episode, in addition to tracking the pose of the object. The task of finger gating is interesting, as it requires grasping, manipulation, then regrasping in order to successfully complete. Using an apple from the YCB object and model set, our goal is to rotate the object as many times as possible in the counterclockwise direction before the episode ends. During this execution, we must also ensure the object is not dropped during this process, which requires all four fingers of the hand. If the object is dropped, it is systematically reset and a new episode begins. This task further underscores the added utility of MOPAC and helps demonstrate its ability to accelerate robot skill acquisition.